Oh no, what is that? A little white, creepy ghost thing. What the? Marduk, what just happened? Are you okay? Uh, Marduk? Ah, good, it worked. Unfortunate choice of body, though, but as well. Can't be helped, it was the only compatible element type host around. Marduk? Hmm, I say, you there, inhabitant. Where is this? No, wait. Do you know of the Anyaki? The Lingans? The Astros Alliance? It's really, really hard to read this, the bold font. Um, you'll see there'll be another section coming up right after this where lots and lots of bold font that is equally or harder to read as well, so bear with me. Huh? What? Marduk, you're scaring me. Well, I'm starting to scare me too. I don't know what I'm doing. That's not me saying those th- Silence, host! So, this is not a developed world, then. Interesting. I might be safe here, at least for a little while. But at the same time, I'll be so very vulnerable. Uh, if you're pretending to be Marduk, then stop it. It's not very funny. I suppose you're pretty confused, inhabitants. Underdeveloped and human inhabitants, might I add. I'll just be blunt and explain. You see, I happen to have crashed my uh, my flying chariot on this planet of yours, and it appears my other body couldn't take the impact and died. A pity. But I still have business in this plane, so I transferred my soul to this host, so now I'm staring his body. You don't need to understand it, you just need to accept it, because I'm going nowhere, and you're gonna have to kill this creature if you want it to get at me. Irk. But despite my prior tone, I mean you no harm at all, no. Harm is what I'm against, which is why I'm here now. And sorry to have inconvenienced you with my presence, but just be glad I didn't expel this creature's soul from its body, because I could have done that and taken full control. I'm not cruel enough, though, so I'd rather share. You'll have to put up with me for a while, though, I'm afraid, because I can only get out of this body when it's tur- Uh, never mind that, actually. I suppose I might as well settle in immediately. So tell me, creatures, what you call yourselves? What are your names? You're larva, correct? I'm not a caterpillar, and, and I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. This is too weird. But you're some kind of thing in Marduk's body that can talk out of his mouth, but you're not him? That is correct, little creature. I'm surprised you followed what I was saying so well since you're but a youngling and an underdeveloped one at that. But my, I'm being so rude. I haven't even let my host speak in ages. Do forgive me. Oof. Huh. Well, I couldn't speak. You were doing that, weren't you? Don't do that. Get out of me. I'm afraid I can't do that, O host. I need to perpetuate myself in this plane, and that bond that I just made to this body is rather permanent, so you and I will be together for a long time. You'll just have to get used to having me sharing your body. My name's Rolf, by the way. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, larval human inhabitants of this world. You two seem understandably distressed. If you want, I can be silent for a while. I need to uh, mull my over my thoughts anyway. I suggest you two rest a bit and calm down. We can talk more later. Yeah, shut up, you weird thing. I, I need to go lie down. Marduk, I don't know exactly what just happened or what it all means, but I think we should head back to the village now. So, come on, let's go. So, yeah, let's, let's save. And head back to the village. It's very creepy. Dude just possessed my body? Phew, what a weird thing that was that happened. I need to go home now, so uh, bye Marduk. I hope that nothing bad happens to you because of that thing. Yeah, freaking Dugan just running away on me like that. Ass. Uh, you! Weird thing in me! Can you hear me if I talk? Obviously, I have your ears and share your brain now so I can detect anything that you can, including your internal monologues, might I add. But due to my incredible magical prowess and dominance in this relationship, you can know nothing of any of my mental activities. Ha 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 ha. Huh? Never mind. You want to ask me something, though, host? I suppose I'll do my best to explain. I mean, we will surely be spending years together from now on, so uh, it'd be best if be on good terms with one another. Well, I just want to know who you are. What are you? Hmm. Despite its apparent simplicity, that's one of the most complex queries you could have come up with. In short, I am a healer. Yes, that should do. I'm a magic user of incredible skill, specializing in light elemental recovery magic and so on. 
inhabiting your body as I am, I'll be able to lend you some of my power in any battles you may face in the future. Keep that in mind. Well, that's pretty cool. But also, since I know that wasn't a satisfactory answer to your question, I, uh, um... Angel, is that what you call them here? You mean one of those things from the sky? Yes, I think. That's the word I got from when I searched your brain's vocabulary lexicon, anyway. A being from the sky. Yes, that seems apt. I came here because, hmm, I don't know if I should tell you. I can't see what harm it will do, but I also can't see what good it would do, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Aw, oh, so you don't even tell me why you're here? Uh, I'm in you, as you so nicely put it, because I had no choice. As I said, my body died when my, uh, blast no word for it, flying thing crashed here, and I was so very close to having my soul wretched from this plane of existence. Oh, what luck! I thought when you entered my, uh, flying thing. I do apologize, but the opportunity was just too good to ignore, and when you were in pure soul form, you don't have much reasoning capacity anyway. I still have a lot of business to attend to on this plane, though. Yes, why I'm here on this planet of yours relates to that. But I need time to regenerate a bit. Dying really weakened me, which is understandable. I'll lie low for a bit here before mentioning anything to you, so it's best you just accept my solemn stony silence on matters of my past person or purpose for the next few years and don't ask any questions. Well, you talk too much, Thing. My name's Rolf, not Thing, and hmm, I do go on a bit, don't I? But I'm the only one here with knowledge enough to provide any kind of explanation, Tusk. Anyway, I'm going to probably be rather silent for the next few years. I'll still be in your body, but I'll keep to myself and work on regaining some of my power. During that time, I'm sure you'll get used to me, though, and I to you. Yes, it'll be a veritable frenzy of family-friendly fun, I'm sure. We'll have all sorts of crazy, zany shenanigans, antics, and hijinks, probably. Well, sounds fun. Yes, indeed, but now, rest, host. We can't be having us being sleepy and lethargic tomorrow. It's probably going to be a long day. Time for sleep. But now, on the other side of the galaxy, Balthazar. I, I don't think I can do voices for all of these guys. I just, I don't have like eight different voices to do. Rolf escaped, you know. He flew away in one of those gallopers, mys. Yalort knows where he went. He needs to singularity well be burned. Let's burn him, burn his meanie face off, and also his Pratton robe, his white robe. His betrayal, whitey robe, it must burn, burn. I just can't read that at all. It's so impossible to read. I like white. I find it goes well with yellow, but only if you want it to. If you don't believe it does, then it doesn't. Just like bad smells. You only think they're bad if you've, but you've been bad. You don't like bad smells. Ignoring how these caterpillars uttered what they're trying to say, I do agree. Rolf needs to be perished. He cannot be left to roam loose with the knowledge he possesses. If he rallies enough of resistance, which it seems he's trying to do, then why, sirs, we're well and truly buggered twice in whichever ways till sundown, sunup, and then some. Yes, kill him, kill the traitor, lets his blood run free, his flesh turn cold, his motor functions degrade and cease, and his eth entire being becomes uncertain, his body a shell, his soul a wanderer. Yes, oh, I do so want to see his flesh cold and crawling. The million maggots slowly chewing, chewing, chewing on the rot. Yes. Yes! Mork, you're something creepy man, and yet I think I too might mongin well delight in the sight of the fright of the yite blight as I fight and smite man from the plain bloody and... Why, Gasper, that's awfully poetic for you. I'm amazed. I'll nary well soggy you a poetic maze, I'll trap you in it and scream toppin' blood curlin' screams as you try in vain to evade the pain you'd be sure to gain. You slowly go insane and just laugh, laugh, mog and laugh trippin' hard. What are you talking about? Shut up anyway, it's irrelevant, but we do need to address the Rolf problem. Master, what think you? We should do away with him, yes, but how do we about it? Yes, underlings, if the deserter, the traitor Rolf, is left to run free, though he alone could pose no serious threat to us, he could gain the alliance of others, which he is frustratingly good at doing. We may have to do away with him, and quickly. He is the only one who knows so. With him gone, we be safe as long as we make nothing clear until it's too late for them. One of us should go to stop him, but who? Any volunteers? 
I like volunteers. They taste like cherries, but only if it's that way if you believe. If you prefer bananas, love, and luck, always taste a bit banani. Banani, that's a weird word to say. Banani, banani. I'm not Charlie Well going, because I beg and well can't be arsed. I'll go. Yes, if Rose is going to die, I would deserve much perverse satisfaction. From seeing the fear on his cycloptic face before he meets the ever scare. Yes, I drink up his shock, his horror. It would fuel me. It's what I live my life for, to see others and theirs. I can't have enough ends, so I'll take my chances to see this one. I hope it's slow and painful. The elation I get from such kills is unmatched by anything. Yes! Just thinking about makes it me... Oh... Yes, you're creepy. I can't say well we'll miss you while you're gone, so it'd be best if you did go. We'll all win that way. Take a battleship and follow the Rolf's trail. It should be easy enough to detect where he went and to deal with him. Now go. Yes, my master. When Rolf's gone and dealt with, there'll be nothing to stop us, no. Soon the galaxy will be ours! Don't you mean ours, sir? We are working on this together. There's just no you. Yes, that's what I said. Weren't you listening? What? Oh, no, not at all. I have a nice pretty tune in my head. I was listening to that. We went na 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 na